Hey, Dean. Hey, there you guys. So, Robin, you have been waiting for a good old-fashioned Jennifer Lopez rom-com. Thank you. Come out for years now. Not only are we getting a rom-com, but you can watch it at home as well. A double bonus for Robin. Check out my Dean's List reviews. Yes. I'll marry you. You. Go! 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 Just in time for Valentine's Day comes the perfect movie for the weekend of love. Rom-com veteran Jennifer Lopez delivers it in Marry Me. It's really more of a rom-com musical. J-Lo not only acts in and executive produces the movie, but she also sings the soundtrack and performs many of the songs a la concert style. It's a story that must certainly be close to her real life. She plays a much in demand global superstar singer with a history of failed marriages, just as she's about to get married again, this time in a live concert event to another global superstar played by singer Maloma. She stops in her tracks, fearing that she's making the same mistake as in her past, and instead picks a random audience member out of the crowd to marry instead a dorky math teacher, single father, played by Owen Wilson. While playing out this fake marriage for publicity purposes, the two get to know each other and both realize that the other may be just what's missing in their lives. Now, there's nothing really earth-shattering in this very predictable, very unprobable story, but there is a lovely chemistry between the two and something very charming about these characters. And how can you not like a story about finding what makes you happy in life? I could have done with without the non-stop product and personality placement that cheapened this movie, I did love Sarah Silverman's considerable comic relief throughout, though. It's harmless and sort of fun, a Dean's List B in theaters and also on the Peacock platform. Also new this week is a good old-fashioned murder mystery, Death on the Nile. Adapted from the 1937 Agatha Christie novel, it's the story of a group of eclectic, wealthy guests on a paddleboat steamer. When one of them winds up murdered, a methodical investigation takes place. It's engaging, it's light and witty, with just a touch of sinister. Another Dean's List B. And finally, Liam Neeson is back in action mode with his latest Blacklight. In this one, he's a government agent who removes operatives whose covers have been blown. Only now he discovers a two-timing conspiracy. Sadly, Neeson's action movies that have revived his career 14 years ago have been less and less exciting every year, and Blacklight is no exception. It's a very lazy, unimaginative Dean's List D. Hey, you can get my weekly movie review sent to your phones every week just by texting the word Dean to 97999. And if you